Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be doing my one month review of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Um, I've had this for just over a month now, and I've actually been meaning to make this review, but then they had the first update come out, and then a week later the second update came out, so I wanted to give it a little bit of time on the new updates uh, before I started talking about a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is my S24 Ultra. I did pre-order this uh, back in January. It is a 512 gigabyte uh, green one, and I actually have a red skin on here. There is a video on this skin on the channel if you want to check it out. Uh, but very, very nice phone. I love the titanium edges. Uh, we're just going to start off here by talking about the hardware and the uh, physical phone itself here uh, before we get into battery life performance and that kind of stuff. Um, so really, really love the titanium. Um, I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max as well, and this was my primary phone until the S24 Ultra came out. And you can see here the titanium does fingerprint and get kind of dirty on the iPhone. I don't find that to be the case as much on the S24 Ultra. Um, I haven't really seen any of the fingerprinting, uh, especially like around the buttons and stuff like that, like we were getting on the iPhone. Uh, so that is nice. Um, so there's kind of a closer look at it right there if it focuses good for you. Um, Cameras really really good as always. Um, I'm not a huge photo taker So we're not going to be talking a, a bunch about that in the review. Um, I usually just use my cameras for uh, You know quick pictures for like eBay or you know posting something on X or sending a picture to a friend over uh, SMS so picture quality is not something uh, that we're going to focus on a huge deal um, the screen, I really, really like the always-on display on the S24 Ultra. I like the fact that it now has the wallpaper on there. Um, I would show you guys, but I haven't used my iPhone 15 Pro Max in a while. So just to kind of prove to you guys that I've been using the S24 Ultra there for a while, it is stone cold dead. Uh, but it does have the new always-on display similar to the iPhone uh, 15 Pro and Pro Max. Uh, I've got the widgets and stuff here, which uh, these are just stock right here. You can set up uh, some more widgets and stuff like that by using Samsung Goodlock uh, for repositioning stuff and adding some more. You can add basically any widget that you can add to the lock screen, uh, or add to the home screen rather, to the lock, lock screen. Um, but I really don't need them repeating everywhere, so that's what I have. Um, screen is very, very nice. Um, it's a lot better after the update with the uh, colors and stuff like that. I actually keep mine on the middle vibrant uh, Vividness uh, setting, sorry, the vividness setting, I keep it on the middle um, option, which I believe is comparable to like the S22 and S23 Ultra, and then the max option is comparable to like the S21. Um, so, very, very nice screen, very colorful, um, anti-reflective properties, very nice. Uh, you do have to use either no screen protector or one of Samsung's anti-reflective screen protectors uh, to really take full advan advantage of that. I do have a glass one on here so you can see that it is uh, quite reflective, uh, but just stock out of the box, it is very noticeable um, that it is not as reflective. So that's pretty nice. Uh, battery life is excellent on this phone. Um, the S22 Ultra was meh, not very good. Um, I would definitely, that would be like a two charge a day kind of phone if I was using it heavily. The S23 Ultra really improved um, and started getting very good battery life, especially with the One UI 6 update. Uh, and then this phone right here is absolutely amazing. Um, I can take this thing to work. I can unplug it at like uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon right before I go to work, uh, work till 10.30 at night, and that is with some phone usage, phone calls, texting, uh, checking my phone, stuff like that throughout work. And um, I can get home with in the 80% range. Um, some days I've even put this on my uh, wireless car charger for the 5-10 minute drive home and I've gotten home in the 90% range. So standby time on this is excellent. Uh, cell reception is excellent. It's not um, draining the battery a ton to uh, be inside a building or anything like that, which is something I noticed on the other two. The standby time was just absolutely terrible and it would drain to 60-70% um, just not being used and in my pocket. Uh, this one is probably 10 to 20 percent better on the standby drain to uh, to where it's not using that much battery uh, when it's not being used. Um, I've been using my phone hardcore today, and it's 11 at night, uh, sorry, almost 12 in the morning, and we're at 50 percent. So very, very good battery life. I did charge it once today, um, but I did not charge it last night. 
Um, so I did not start the day at a full charge. I started the day at about, about uh, 60% and I was home all day today. So I've been on my phone constantly. Um, I've been doing a bunch of YouTube stuff, responding to some emails on X, um, all that kind of stuff, uh, all on my phone today. Um, so very, very good battery life. Uh, we'll talk about the S Pen here real quick. Not much has changed on the S Pen in terms of functionality, uh, but just one little side note, if you have an S22 or 23 Ultra uh, and you have an extra S Pen laying around, do not put it in your S24 Ultra. It will get stuck. I've done a video on this. Um, as you can see, this one has a kind of flat uh, end, whereas the 22 and 23, it is more of a rounded end. Um, and a lot of people complain that this sticks out too far right here. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, technically, you can get your nail under here and pull it out without uh, actually pushing the little pin button there. Uh, so it will come out if you catch it on something just right or whatever the case may be. But I haven't had that issue uh, whatsoever yet. But I have seen online some people have had that issue. Uh, so just something to keep in mind there. Um, the other one was kind of more rounded um, and you couldn't get your, your nail in there as much on the side, but this one being flat, you can kind of, you can get a nail under there and flick it out uh, without, you know, depressing the little button right there. Again, not a huge deal. It hasn't like fallen out on me or gotten caught or anything like that, but just something to note in that aspect. Uh, but that's really my one month um, review here. I don't have, you know, there's not really many cons. Um, I haven't had any issues. There's some people that have had issues with the screen, with uh, some fuzziness and stuff like that, with colors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, no issues here whatsoever. Um, like I said, coming from the 15 Pro Max right here, iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, haven't used this phone in a month. Kind of miss it, kind of don't. There's certain things I do miss, uh, which I'm sure you guys know what they are. I message stuff like that. Uh, but once I've been using this one for a little while and everybody expects to get an SMS from me, it's not really a huge issue uh, to be on SMS whatsoever. So if you guys want to check out any more of my videos, I do have a bunch of videos on this phone, tips and tricks on how to customize your buttons, tips and tricks on uh, some software stuff, and a bunch of different accessory videos from screen protectors to cases and that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to check that out, it is on the channel. If you go back just a few videos, it uh, it's all there. Uh, here recently in the past few weeks and I will be doing some more good luck videos and stuff like that when software updates come around So make sure you click that subscribe button uh, Ask any comments you may have down in the comments section and as always have a great day